from Leslie Combemal, and this is Animation and Film Art News. This week, in honor of the big announcement that Spider-Man will be included finally in the Marvel Universe, I'm announcing there is now a new collection of Marvel art. They are called uh, Mighty Minis. They're smaller pieces. They're uh, 14 by 10 or uh, uh, 12 by 17 in that general range. Gallery wrapped, which means you can put it right on the wall. They're additions of 500 and they're $125. So they're probably gonna sell out really fast. I don't know how they're making any money on it. I don't care. I'm glad for our clients and for all of you people who love Marvel. There are some wonderful artists included who've done Marvel covers, including all new X-Men number one, Stuart Immonen is a Canadian comic book artist and he's best known for his work on Next Wave, Ultimate X-Men, The New Avengers, and The Ultimate Spider-Man. Then you Marvel fans probably know all of this already. Iron Man number 15. Carlo Pagolan, who is a freelance comic book artist known for some of his work uh, around the Twin Towers disaster, but also he's had many assignments including Elektra, The Incredible Hulk, The Mighty Avengers, and The Iron Man for Marvel Comics. The Amazing Spider-Man 692. Humberto Ramos, who's a comic book penciler and cover artist known for his work on American comic books such as Impulse, The Spectacular Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man, and his creator-owned series Crimson. Marvel Universe Handbook Spider-Man 2004. Salvador La Roca, who started out at Marvel UK and he's eventually started working in uh, at DC Comics in the US, working on Flash and Ghost Rider. His other credits include Heroes Reborn, Captain America, Iron Man, The Avengers, Fantastic Four, Uncanny X-Men, and the Spider-Man House of M miniseries. Captain America Homecoming number one. Mark Bagley is a comic book artist who has worked on The Amazing Spider-Man, Thunderbolts, New Warriors, and The Ultimate Spider-Man on Justice League of America, Batman, and Trinity, and is listed in Comic Book Resources as the number four best Spider-Man illustrator. Also kind of exciting, there's a new piece of artwork of Guardians of the Galaxy, which is taken from the poster, but has none of the words on it, which is kind of cool. And uh, it's a limited edition, it only costs $50, so if you're into Guardians of the Galaxy, who isn't, go rock it! You might want to consider this piece. So, that's it, that's what I have for you, Marvel, Marvel, Marvel! It's very exciting. So if you're interested in these, check out uh, on our website at Art Insights or wherever it is you normally buy your Marvel art from. And if you're not already buying Marvel art, you should consider it because man, that makes a colossal image on your wall. Check out all of the official Marvel art on our website or go check with your local animation and film art gallery. Thanks so much. And don't forget to subscribe because I have the latest news for you and you want to hear all about it. Thanks so much. Have a great day.